But yes, child. Mm -mm. It's the audacity for me. It really is. You don't gotta lie. Like, you don't gotta lie to me. I'm not your girl. I'm not your wife. I'm not your mother. Just tell the truth, yeah? Tell the truth and let me decide how I'm gonna take it. But all that lying, oh, I think that's the, the, the grossest part about it, is you didn't have to lie, especially when I asked you for the truth. Grab your tea, do your hair, fold your laundry, clean your room, whatever you're doing, driving the car. Um, and let's just get into it. We're gonna talk about the time. I thought I was getting flued out, but honey, I got played out. Okay, so let's talk. So, this story took place the week of about February 5th. I'm getting ready for um, the launch or the sale of my Valentine's Day collection for my clothing brand, House of Bars. I'm working really hard. I'm putting out ads. I'm focused. I'm in my zone. And one night at around 2 a.m., I get a FaceTime call. Now, this person... You know, I've been feeling him. I thought I've been, you know, I always thought he was cute. Um, he's a mutual friend of mine and my best friend. So, you know, I've known him for a couple of years. The amount of time I've known my best friend. I mean, I've always seen him around, but I don't see him enough to know enough about him. So the few times that I do see him, it's always just a very light impression. We get to like talk, be a little like, you know, vibey, fill each other out. Um, but we never... Uh, became friends I would say we just were acquaintances but I always thought he was very handsome and I kind of got a mature vibe from him so you know I was I was always curious to see what was up so I get a call from sir at 2 a.m one night and I'm just like okay this is either a booty call or he has something really important to say so I'm dancing around the question of why did you call I'm trying to figure it out with context clues. Um, so I'm asking him like, how are you? How's everything going? You seem down, is something wrong? And he says that, you know, he didn't have such a good day and he doesn't want to talk about it. And I said, okay, no problem. It's all good, so what's up? And then he goes into his plans for Valentine's Day. And so I'm like, I don't think nothing of it, you know? I'm just like, okay, cool, what, what's your plans? So he tells me that he either wants to get a car, he's been debating between getting a car for himself or taking a solo trip to Jamaica because that's just something he likes to do. Now, if it was me, I would get a car, but it's not me. And he, I guess, didn't want to get the car. And so um, he says he feels like he would just rather do a trip to Jamaica. And so, you know, me making conversation, I'm like, oh my God, yeah, me and my friends always wanted to go to Jamaica. Jamaica's beautiful. We were gonna go there for a girl's trip but ended up not going so i know you're gonna really love it because it's so nice over there and he goes oh you wanted to go to jamaica i was like i mean yeah like i want to go out there at some point still not thinking anything of it because hello never been flewed out before i'm not expecting no guy to ever take me anywhere and he's like how about next week and i'm like how about next week and so before he says how about next week he asked me what are my plans for the week and I tell him, you know, like, I don't know, I might have a few business meetings, you know, trying to play it cool. Like, I got better things to do because you're not supposed to seem too available. So I was like, um, I might have some business meetings. I don't know. I'm not sure yet. Why? And he's like, would you want to come with me to Jamaica? And at that point, I'm really stunned. Like, is this guy really asking me to come with him to Jamaica? And so I was like, sure. I didn't want to be too I was I was trying to figure out how I wanted to play it right I could either be like like hard to get like why you want to take me to Jamaica like for what and like ask a lot of questions or I could seize this opportunity and go to Jamaica and so I seized the opportunity and said I'm going to Jamaica <laughs> soon as we confirm that I'm going to Jamaica I sent it to my group chat I'm telling all my friends and honey, we are getting excited for Jamaica. I'm on FaceTime with one of my other friends because he had to call me back because he was going to book my flight. And so I called my other friend on the other line. I'm like, girl, he's taking me to Jamaica. And she's like, what? And I'm like, but I don't know because like, this is so random. And like, girl, I don't even know his first name. I know his nickname, but I don't know his real name. Like, that's a little concerning, don't you think? 
And um, she's like, mm, that is a little concerning. But while we're talking about the issues and concerns of going on a trip with somebody whose name you don't know, we're also looking for bathing suits that I would look nice in in my pictures. There is this air of suspicion in the back of my mind. Um, just because of how random the call was and how random the opportunity was. Like a guy that you barely talk to that doesn't really know you and you don't really know him invites you out the country is just a little sketch and you have to be weary. So, you know, I he told me he got the ticket and I said, okay, well, can I get the confirmation email? Like, let me see. I want to make sure it has my name on it. I want to make sure it's for the right date. You know, you're not just trying to send me to Jamaica by myself. Did you get yours? Let me see your ticket confirmation. All these questions. And, um... He sends it to me and it looks like we're going. And he says, okay, well, you just have to book your flight coming back. Um, my dad told me that if a guy invites you anywhere, he needs to pay for your flight there and back. So a tip for you guys in case you were ever hesitant in telling a guy that, you know, if you're inviting me, you should be paying. My dad said you should. So when he finally calls me back, I'm telling him, like, I'm excited. Like, this is going to be fun. Like, oh my gosh. But then I ask a very important question. I said... Is there any other girl I should know about or be worried about while going on this trip with you? Because we don't need no drama from nobody. I've had, let me tell you, I've had some issues in the past, okay? And that'll be another story time for another day. But I've had baby mothers with two month old children calling my phone asking where their boyfriend is at. So I asked him and he said, um, his story was shawty got a new dude and um she's a dub now i just wish i would have known earlier so she could have been a dub sooner whatever the answer i just needed to know was no and i was trusting that he was telling me the truth because i believed he was an honest person and he valued honesty but i guess that's not the case so less than 10 hours later i want to say around 1 p.m that same day I get a message from him saying his uncle died. Y'all believe him? Y'all believe him? Comment down below. And not to be rude because maybe, you know, his uncle could have very well have died. Um, but do y'all believe him? You get a text the same day that says my uncle died. You believe him? You already suspicious. Okay, let's keep moving. Let's keep going. So I send my deepest condolences. I'm writing prayers. I'm sending out love and light to his mother, telling him, you know, these things happen on, you know, God's time, not our time, and we have to be accepting of it. I'm really going in. Like, I'm just sending so much love that way. And then he finally gets to his main concern of why he messaged me, and it's because he's deciding if he should go or if he should stay and console his mother during her mourning. And I'm like, boy, stay. Like, what you need to, don't leave your mama while she's mourning over the loss of her brother. Like, you can stay. I'm not ever gonna argue against you saying to comfort your mother for, after the death of her brother. So I'm like, no, no, if you need to stay, it's, it's totally fine. Don't even worry about it, don't even trip. He's like, damn, I feel so bad, like, uh, like I really wanted to go this always happens to me something always gets in the way and on some real ish like I get that I respect that like people really go through stuff and like they be having plans for their own lives and just life gets in the way and I was feeling for him so I'm asking him like so do you think you're gonna go what do you think you're gonna do and he says no honestly I think I'm gonna stay and I said okay cool so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go online and I'm gonna cancel my return flight because that's the one I paid for and I want my money back Cause like, I'm not going to Jamaica by myself. And so my friends were like, oh, if he can't go bring a friend, tell him to give you the other ticket. We could go, we could go with you. But um, I didn't want to do that. And I should have just to see what he would say because low key, he was lying. So a couple days go by, a few days before the expected trip departure. And I asked him like, hey, did you ever get your money back for um, your flight and my flight going? <sighs> this dude says, Actually, I decided I'm gonna go. My mom told me I shouldn't waste my money, that I should go. And I said, okay, so what happened with my ticket? He's like, I'm gonna just take it as a loss. Y'all believe him? Y'all believe him? 
me and my homegirls are dying in the in the chat okay dying so now i'm putting two and two together you're not canceling the flight nobody's dumb enough to take a loss on a whole ticket that costed at least 160 dollars nobody's doing that he tells me he's gonna go with his cousin and her husband or his cousin and his wife i don't know which gender it was um but he's gonna go with them since they're going and i was like oh, okay cool well, you're not going alone because you got a whole extra ticket. So who you going with? That's what I want to know. And so I told my best friend, you know, my best friend, my best friend tried to warn me. He tried to tell me, like, don't mess with him. Don't mess with him. He's no good. He's no good for you. And, you know, the thing, the thing about it is you can tell somebody the water is hot, but how hot is it? It may be hot to you. To you. But it may not be that hot to me. So I'm just like, I had to find out for myself. You know, everybody's pain tolerance is different. <laughs> so, you know, I had to test the waters on myself. And although my best friend told me, stay away, I wanted to go and see for myself. So fast forward, he's on the trip to Jamaica. And I shamelessly watch his story to see if he played me. Because at this point, I want you to know that I know if you try to play me, you know. So I'm watching his story and he seems very much single, very much alone in Jamaica. Because in every story video, you got him on the beach with the nice view behind him. Nobody's back there. You know, good. Okay, great. You got him at the bar talking to the DJ. Nobody's behind him. Nobody's next to him. All right, great. You got him showing his feet in the water. Nobody's feet are next to him. Nobody's feet are beside him. Okay, great. He's not a liar. Thank God. Until the next day, I wake up to a message that says, and everybody's cracking up, screaming, LMAO, oh, shh. And I look at the group chat, and honey, tell me why one of my friends found a picture of him and his girl, his girl, in Jamaica poolside. Her sitting up on the side of the pool, and him in between her legs, leaning over, holding her with his six-pack, whatever abs he got, and his beard. And his shades and his bucket hat, I think. And the caption was, he said, pack a bag. And I ended up in Jamaica. Happy Valentine's Day. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? But that's where it gets messy. Because now let, let's, let's do the math, ladies. He calls you at 2 a.m to tell you about a trip he has already decided on and is inviting you on at 2 a.m. And he had a bad day. So the way I'm doing my math is if he had a bad day, he might have had a bad day because him and Shadi got into an argument. They got into an argument. He found out she did something that he did not like. And he is trying to find a way to get back at her, replace her, get his revenge, feel better by inviting somebody else to the trip and replacing her spot. Something within that 24 hours changes. He has to figure out how to let down the girl he now invited, who he doesn't really want to tell the truth because that would be really effed up. Um, so he comes up with a really terrible lie, like saying his uncle died. I don't know if it's a lie or not, but it's all looking very fishy. To find a way to let her down so that he can then reinvite the girl that he was going to bring. Give that ticket that he gave to this girl back to this girl. Tell her a whole other story that she was the one that was supposed to go last minute. Get the COVID test. Because first of all, you got to get the COVID test three days before. So she knew at least three days before, before you were going to tell me that I wasn't going anymore. I had to ask you if you were still going when you told me you weren't going. So I was going to see you in Jamaica after you told me you didn't go if I did not ask you the math the math is ridiculous okay man i tell you every time i think i can like trust a guy or have some faith i am very much disappointed i just don't get it and i think that's where where, where it comes from i'm just kind of like why would you do that that's corny like you're not scared to do that you're not scared to waste a good woman's time oh my gosh you have a lot of audacity a lot of chutzpah a lot of balls like if you're a guy who's dumb enough to waste like a good girl's time who could have really been a vibe for you you know because um you know she's a vibe yeah i don't even know how else i could have went about this to avoid getting played 
anyways y'all that's it for this story time you guys thank you guys for watching and for joining me and sipping on this tea with me <sighs> but yes child and maybe this is just my ego talking maybe i think like he wanted me that bad maybe he didn't even want me that bad in the first place you know what i'm saying but damn like shit all right, y'all. I'll catch you in my next video. I'll see you soon. Bye.